well, it's late in the season. And uh, I tagged out on bucks back in October during early bow season. So I had to sit out the rut this year, and that's very hard. I hate doing that. But uh, I found somebody that's wanting some meat. So I'm back in the woods with my bow, and hopefully I can get a doe or two the next week or so. But uh, it just seems nice to be back in the woods again. one coming. Well, that didn't take long. Been here about an hour. First time back in the woods, uh, pretty much, since I shot those two bucks in October. And uh, doe came off the hill over here, and I could tell it was a big adult doe. So I was planning on taking her if I could get a shot, but then I heard another deer coming behind her. And I thought, well, I need to see what that is, because maybe I can get some footage. If it is a buck, at least get some footage of him. Turned out to be about a two-year-old buck, and he was grunting coming in behind her. I guess this rut's still going on a little bit. But uh, she gave me a good 15 yard shot there and went down here. I think she's about 60 yards down here piled up, but I'm gonna give her a few minutes before I take up the trail just to make sure.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice doe. I did make a good shot. Beautiful deer. Yeah, I hadn't been able to hunt for a while where I took those two bucks, didn't have any buck tags, and I just had to get back in the woods. As soon as I found out somebody needed some meat, I was ready to get back to hunting. First evening, within the first hour, hour and a half, it was over with, but it uh, seemed so good to get back in the woods. That buck that was with her, he was uh, gutting, carrying on. I don't know if she's been bred yet, but, but uh, he'll have to go find him another gal, I guess. Well, it's going to get dark on me, so I better get on out of here with her.